So, I grew up through the 1990s when personal computers were just getting started. And so I remember when I was like four and five, six, seven, when we got our home computer, it was like the very beginning of that sort of technology when you stored data on floppy disks, when the only ma mice you would have would be the, the ones with the wheel. There was no such thing as the infrared mouse. When computer programs were very simple, when you were, your games were very were just limited to the DOS games, and they were like the top-notch type of games. Other than that, you would just play Solitaire and Minesweeper. So, so it was clear from the very beginning that computers were like an amazing thing. But as far as actually using them for doing anything productive, there was such limits. Luckily, I was really into writing, and so even from that early age, I used a lot of Microsoft Word to do a lot of writing, and so I didn't really feel that dissatisfied with what computers could offer me. But now, but, but by the time I was um, like in the middle of the 2000s, when you saw what computers could really do, now that they have proper processing power, and that they can actually like have wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, infrared mouse detection, like USBs, digital communications, actually using the internet. That's the other thing, like the internet in the mid 90s was so weak that you couldn't really do anything. Yeah, and it was using very, very simple programming. Now the internet is capable of all sorts of things. I remember when YouTube was launched, I remember the first year it came into existence. So, I feel like, as far as my age is concerned, like, I was like, I got, I got, was able to see computing and the internet evolve over the course of my lifetime to what it is today. And I suppose someone who was a bit older, someone who was like who grew up in the 80s that would be much more so because they would have seen the days before personal computers came into real popular existence and they would see the full evolution of it I remember uh, the first times that I used the internet um, was when I was really young, like maybe five or six, the first things I did was I went on barbie.com and there was like this, some games on it, but they weren't really games, they were just sort of like, you know, put your dress on Barbie and like paint some colours and things and stuff. Yeah. Other than <coughs> the school work, um, we had, you know, when we had to do research, and that was about it. But I, yeah, I don't think I ever actually looked at YouTube until like 2010 or 11 or something, because I didn't really spend much time on the internet at all, other than for school, and then. I remember when I was first introduced to YouTube where one of my school friends talked about a fun kids show that existed in the 90s and he just kept assessing about it like he just wanted to bring up any conversation that existed he just wanted to bring up that kids show and so he said look Justin you should watch these old episodes of this kids show from the 90s here go on to this channel called YouTube this website called YouTube, which has all the episodes there. And he didn't actually explain to me 
how to get to YouTube.com. He just said, go to YouTube. And so, I didn't know that it was Y-O YouTube. Instead, yeah. I just put it as a U. I just thought that as well. <laughs> and the, I, so, I typed U, the letter U, tube. <laughs> and the first thing that came, the only things that came up were the actual plumbing. There's actual a tube, which is called the U-tube, which is um, where you put, which you put at the bottom, on a sink, where the water pools. And I just did not understand why would he want me to <laughs> search this. Uh. That's funny. I must have created many different YouTube channels over the years. I created one where there's only one video attached to it and it's of a fake radio program that my brother made where he pretended to be a newsreader and he read out the scores of the Yemen Soccer League and so he spouted all these fake team names for these fake scores as if he was reporting the latest round of the Yemen Soccer League. That was back in 2006 and the, cha the video is still up, the channel is still up and it has about a hundred views and there's only one comment and it's in Arabic and I haven't translated it yet so, but I would imagine if you translate it, it would be like this video is a lot of load of nonsense. Another YouTube channel I created was a um, was a plan to eventually my first attempt at converting my cricket, my club cricket tele, um, recordings onto YouTube, and so I found a way. It was a very you know informal very clumsy way of converting analog to digital and so I created for about 30 seconds of my um, my cricket recordings and that's all I uploaded and I caught it we ended up calling it something like bush cricket and it that was record that, that way that I recorded that in like 2006 as well and that's got like a thousand views <laughs> you're having fun there <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> when you get down on the low